After spending two full years without any youth homicides, four juveniles were killed in 2020. And get this, the youngest being nine-year-old Michaela Brent, who was shot at Mama Marks Park. It's definitely a reversal of what we've seen over the last couple of years. In 2020 alone, a total of 43 people died by homicide. It's a 26% increase compared to 2019, when that number was 34 with zero youth homicides. The increase is uh, something that is very, very troubling. For years, Mervyn Brookins, founder and CEO of Brother to Brother Mentoring, has been working with at-risk teens and young men re-entering society for years. He says the hard work they put in has been flipped upside down during the pandemic. They didn't have outlets, uh, uh, normal outlets to um, that they normally would engage in. He believes many youth turned to social media as their only outlet during the pandemic. That's what fed a lot of the animosity and anger and, and some of the beef that we've seen transpire over the last year. Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn says the increase in numbers comes from a variety of different contributing factors, not just the pandemic. Whether it's our problem-oriented policing officers or our gang officers, they've been pulled out of our communities to work protests, so um, they haven't had a presence, haven't uh, been working as much as they normally do in our communities. 